Hello everybody, Southwest Aficionado here, coming to you from Gallup, New Mexico. Mm -hmm. Just resting up um, today and all week. Um, I'll be going to California again at the end of next week, and I need my rest because that drive is coming up. Seems like I just got back. Last time I talked to you, I think I was over there ready to do some uh, some plumbing work on my girlfriend's house. And uh, that worked out pretty good, even though I, I'm not a plumber. I think I told you guys that. But it involved a little hacks on and some uh, putting up some, uh, some tubing to get uh, cold water into the bathroom. There was some plugged up pipe underneath the house. And as, as anybody knows, crawling under the house on your back and sawing pipe and putting in new stuff and hoping for the best, it's a chore. Anyway, I had fun. And of course, once I got the and the stuff underneath the house done, you know, plugged up the the old faucet that was in the bathroom, so we had to uh, get a saw, hack that off, and uh, put a new one in. But anyway, it all came out good. But I didn't have time to trim the big 50 to 75 foot shoot tree she has in the backyard, and I didn't have time to start on the uh, refinishing the cabinets. But that's probably waiting for me when I get there this time. Anyway, just enjoying a cigar and some uh, rich, dark, espresso black coffee. Anyway, I picked up these cigars at TP Smoke Shop. They were gifted to me by Daryl, the manager out there. It's that, uh, you know what, I better put my glasses on. Anyway, I think they're Indian cigars. Yeah, Indian Motorcycle, 1901. And let me read to you what I uh, what I read on the internet about them. <clears throat> kind of interesting. Okay, uh, Indian cigars, do, 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 handcrafted in the Dominican. I think they're distributed by Drew Estates. I guess originally originally they were uh, they were released under Indian uh, tobacco cigar back when. Uh, Rocky Patel and uh, some other person uh, during the cigar boom of the 1990s came out with this blend. Uh, but anyway, they're picking up, it says, in popularity again. And he gave me uh, one of the Maduros, and he gave me the Habano, which I'll probably do a review on tomorrow. Um, I've talked to a couple people, including Daryl, who had smoked these before. He smoked the, the Maduro. He didn't like it. It was a little harsh, and uh, I talked to another guy that smoked the Habano, and he says he didn't like it. So that obviously challenged me to see what I thought of him. Anyway, this is the Maduro, and before that, I lit it up. It had a real, uh, real faint barnyard aroma. And so far, I just lit it, and so far, it's really smooth. It says here that it has uh, that the Maduro. Delivers notes of earth, leather, and dark chocolate. So far, it just out of the chute comes out real smooth. A little earthy. And that's about all at this point. But I'll pause this, smoke a little bit, and see if the flavor develops any. But it's a beautiful looking label and beautiful looking cigar. really like it. The looks anyway. But so far, no harshness, uh, but we'll see what happens, at least to the halfway point. Um, but that's all that's been going on around here. i just kind of been relaxing and doing some writing, trying to finish up this last stage of my book. Hopefully. I mean, I didn't finish by my birthday like I had said I, I planned to, but we want to make we want to do it right. This could be the only novel I ever write. So I want to make sure it's done right. Yeah, just a lot of earth and natural tobacco taste at this point. So let me pause it and smoke a little bit, and I'll come back to you in just two shakes of a lamb's tail. Hello, everybody. I'm back, and I'm just about to the halfway point. Just wanted to show the ash before I ash it. 
held on pretty good for almost halfway. You could probably go longer, but I'm not going to take that chance. So, wow, it's dirty. Probably could have lasted the whole cigar. Anyway, here's the deal. Absolutely no pepper, no spice at all, but it kind of delivers what it says it's going to give you. You know, earth, uh, earth, dark chocolate, and leather. And that's basically what I'm getting out of here. There's nothing, absolutely nothing, displeasing about the cigar, about the taste. Uh, it's very, it's, it's a non-complex, just has those three ingredients as far as flavors pretty much all the way through. I'd buy it again. I give it a thumbs up. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, smoke the rest anyway. I'm anxious to smoke this other one here. I mean, it's supposed to get uh, like caramel, sugar cane, a uh, little coffee in this one. Uh, I'm anxious to do this uh, Habano tomorrow. We'll see how that goes. I'm sure I'll have time. But, but anyway, it could be that I'm drinking this espresso blend coffee and it's, uh, it has notes of chocolate too. I think the cigar is more on the uh, dark chocolate side, and the coffee is more of a mellow, creamy, creamy chocolate. And then you put them together, and they really pair nicely. A few non-cigar smokers, just subtle hints. I'm not talking about a uh, pure chocolate taste, but that that chocolate does stay on the top of your, uh, the front of your palate for quite a while, in between draws. I like it. Very enjoyable. Now this is a 6x52 stick, it's their Toro size, and uh, I think they run about 130 bucks for a box, so very reasonable. Getting very nice, but uh, anyway I should have plenty of rest by the time the end of next week comes, enough for my traveling again. I think my tires will go another trip or two before I have to get a new set. The only problem about having a, a girlfriend who lives in another state, wearing tear on the car. Well worth it though. Hmm, that is nice. Anyway, I'm going to give this a few more puffs out on the back porch and uh, I'll catch y'all in just a few minutes. And we're back for the end of this stogie. It's starting to rain outside and that's where I was smoking so... I'm going to button this review up. Overall impression, I really like this cigar. The flavors are getting richer, creamier towards the end. And uh, I don't see anything wrong with it. Anyway, I'm going to do that review on the Habano version tomorrow. And then after that, I've got some impressions of some uh, Virginia tobaccos I've been uh, trying lately for my pipe. Um, I think that I did the Yeo sign was the first one I got and then uh, the Davidoff uh, flake medallions I gave you impressions on that one and then uh, of course the old, the, um, the dark flake with, with from Dunhill uh, was a winner and then I picked up a couple other ones some um, some Peterson's Irish flake and University flake and uh, I finished the Tina University flake and uh, Wow, what a nice, what a nice tobacco! And the uh, Irish Flake was a pleasant surprise. I'll give you my impression on that one. Uh, it wasn't all what I was expecting. It's really a good tobacco, and I have a, a few other ones to try too. Uh, so I've got some videos lined up for you. Anyway, that'll do it from Gallup. And everybody have a great Wednesday. Uh, I'm gonna have a good time at Cigar and Pipe Night tonight down there at Sammy's Cigar Club. Um, so anyway, it's gonna be a nice evening. Anyway, everybody out there, the YTPC, have a good day. Bye.